<laughs> hi, it's me, Voice. I'm a VTuber. I see you. Hi. So, you know, that has been a problem this week. I couldn't, why? The reason why I couldn't actually, you know, do videos. Uh, it was really, really simple. I have went to the ER. <laughs> I have to went to the ER and I, I, I have my sick leave and I, I, I was dying. My stomach was dying. Okay. Uh, here in Spain, you have sick leaves, if you don't know. Um, and people thought I was having appendicitis uh, and I have been like fucking dying on the, on the ER like making tests and things like that and they asked me yeah you can you have to repose I have been like feeling worse every day but it was not appendicitis they don't know what happens with my stomach okay. they're going to check it soon later they're going to give me more tests they're having a problem with stomach and I don't know what it is so meanwhile I'm gifting you this Oh look, it's an internet historian video, the stat same between Maria 50 and 52. Because you know, uh, do you know the news of the governor, you know, something uh, official authorities is talking about non-human pilots and uh, certain aircraft. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this reminds me of a video. You know, like this reminds me of a puzzle in Leighton. This is going to be, this reminds me of a video. Okay? Okay. Ready? Set? Ouch. Okay. Is that okay? You're on a sequential. Aliens. Hi. They exist. Yeah, and of course they exist. They're here and they've been walking among us for among us. of years. Yes. Up at the night sky. Each one of those lights is probably an alien. What? <laughs> and the police go up. Coincidence? Yeah. No. Just looking for clues. They put you on a no-fly list. What? There are no coincidences. Only truth bombs. And what the, the fuck? Is holding the fuse. Locked up tight. In area 51. Oh. And so our story begins with mm. one man. Oh, one man. Joseph Expedient. On Experience, what? First of the solar year ah, yeah, right. Joe spoke to a whistleblower. Right. Bob Lazar. Oh, what? Now, Bob claims to have worked at the Area 51. And oh, so he claims. Joe summoned him to his sensory deprivation satellite. Where he what? Ask him probing questions about the that government facility. The machine that was able to read the, the size of your dicks. And yeah. You what? For yourself, this incredible testimony before the UN dun, takes dun, it dun. down. What the fuck? You used to work at Area 51. When did things get weird? Well, the way this went down was I only got hands on with one of them, and I was fucking an alien. It produced a little discharge from the bottom. It was exciting. What the fuck? <laughs> turn the lights he on. Fuck an alien? All these guys are there. So what the why fuck is this? We have, what the fuck is this? Know, actual hardware from another civilization. It's a big. Um, what? <sighs> is he in drugs? I live in a house. That's bullshit. I like just swinging around on trees. Absolutely. We are the sex organs of the machine world. But for people what the who don't, fuck? let's give them the bullet points. How right. tall are you? I'm 5'10". You don't seem to have any muscle. You almost know, like yeah. a frame. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Well, what is this see there? saucer that I worked on. I saw it sitting there, and I thought, oh, my God. Hey, Bob, it's probably a good idea if you shut up. I worked yes. underground with the aliens, and they shot my hand off. They're cool. underground. There's bases. They're shooting lasers through the Earth's crust, <laughs> and they move them at light speed. You, you, yeah. Were fucking what i'm not even doing anything drop dead hey why don't you come on out to the nevada desert Damn. what the fuck is going on all right that's it folks good night yeah that was an interesting one were sent out all over the globe using what the fuck absolutely free and it started an incredible awakening inseminating the people's brains with what knowledge who killed jfk Flooring them with the revelation of a There's no, it's no! With a spear. And soon they were thirsting with righteous curiosity. Of course. Human -animal hybrid. Hybrid. All right, here's the Google searches for Area 51. That okay. Spike there, that's when Joe Rogan put out his podcast. You get the idea. What? 
And you see, it reached the right man at just the right time. A 21 year old named Matthew Roberts. Matthew Roberts, face your kisser. Okay. Aliens in Area 51 before, and he believed. He oh. To see him. Real bad. But what could he do? Yeah. How could he possibly get into Area 51 to check yeah. him out? Yeah. Yeah. Think. Think. They're gonna shoot you in the sound of. Think. Scenario one. If I ran into Area 51. I would be shot and killed. Yeah. Scenario two. If me and all of my friends ran in, we'd both be killed. Yes, but because you only have two friends. If there One. Were so many of us, thousands, so much fodder that they eventually ran out of bullets, then someone surely is going to get through and touch the government in its special area. Oh. Within oh, these guys that want to raid. A Facebook post. They can't stop all of us. Willing to die for the government, let's do this. On September what 20th, the fuck? 2019, we'll all meet up at the Area 51 Alien Central Tourist Attraction and coordinate our entry. If we Naruto run, we can move faster than their bullets. What? Let's see them aliens. This event then goes into the ether. Yes. And from here, it was up to the Facebook algorithm gods to decide what would happen next what happened okay everyone knows here to be excited about i think this could be very positive for our society and economy what People the fuck? all across the flat world were receiving the invite and they began pressing the attending button what i didn't get it did you got did you get it someone got it for my community really funny Press the bottom, bitch. Press it. Press it. Harder. Didn't take so long. Come on. This is... I know it's epic, but please press it. What? Okay. RSVP. Within How many? Just a couple of days, the event had picked up hundreds of thousands. Of yeah, that's true. I remember that when People someone put the it in the chat. They began making memes about how they were going to raid the base. So many I can barely show you a fraction of them. Rapid firing them out like the bullets that what? would soon be gunning them down. <laughs> and so the event spread and spread around the internet. What? Eventually morphing into everyone who is something is gonna raid Area 51. Oh yeah, even pretty pie. All over the globe are joining up to fight for the future. Nigel, a runner. No pointer, runner. Stevens, agent. Silent, a runner. Oh, Freeman, yeah. 713. I am a sentinel. Everyone's doing <laughs> Are you? We have Is this the battle of the... We have the weapon. <laughs> yes. We need soldiers. We need what? And just like that, the game was on. Oh, shit. And Is this it? Time. Oh. Is the new campaign? You're gonna love it. Be. Oh no! Oh, two. Plans disappear. Oh! Dreams take over. I live. I laugh. I gnaw. What? Gnawed on every device like a blank canvas. <laughs> I can be here and anywhere. Oh! A man of fortune. Will you break these chains? But wherever I go. Wherever I go, what? There you are. NordVPN.com slash internet is <laughs> Why? No thanks. Look, I just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just an idea. I know what you want. You want the female audience, and I know women. Good morning, oh. my ladies. Have you heard about NordVPN? What? You get this a the international Netflix catalog. Never miss another episode of the Handsome Man Show. Oh, don't you hate it when your dishwasher gets region locked? No what? More. Oh, so safe in NordVPN's big strong arms, especially with their new product, Threat What? Protection. It protects me from malicious sites and downloads and trackers and intrusive ads. Why are the cats? Think NordVPN.com slash Internet Historian. Why are you doing this Internet Historian? Why? VPN stands for Vagina. Vagina. <laughs> All right, I'll do the ads you like. Get Nord. Do it. You can use some threat protection. Take your online safety more seriously. Uh, yeah. Have you heard about their amazing prices? 
What? What? Who is AF-51? Yeah, who? Welcome to the mission brief. Let's do a bit of background on Area 51. Okay. Secret military base, first developed in 1955. Hmm. This is what it looks like on Google Maps. It's approximately this big. Total area okay. Size, 51. And the volume, a big mystery. Until 1997, the government oh. refused to even acknowledge that it existed. That is, until they were forced to by lawsuit. That lawsuit oh. was about the death of two men who were former employees. And how did they die? Well, not aliens, oh. but rather toxic fumes from burning garbage. Yeah, so what they would do what? is burn a whole bunch of cool, high-tech refuse on the lot, let the deadly smoke blow downwind, and the staff were stuck breathing it in. A few oh. years later, bing bing bong, cancer. Oh! The public hasn't really been told anything, so all people guys. Can speculate as to what the hell is going on in there. I think that they are keeping remnants of a UFO there. We don't know if it's aliens. We don't know if it's time travel. We don't know if there's minions in there. Uh, virtual there's minions. So incredibly sexy. But Why you say one thing? Banana. They do test flights on new alien craft. Motherfucker, don't you tease me. Come on. Oh shit. Produce new aliens. We're like a bill. Breathe the latest version of the newest gayest frog. Yeah. Do not. Get a Him a toe? As well. That's over here. Area 51's over here. And the final thing that we know is, is that, that security is top notch. They have that thing locked down. Oh. Really? So, you won't Breaking break in. in anyway. Okay, but it's going to require some research. Oh, yeah, of course. It's going to find out. Has anyone ever tried breaking in before? That's a two. That's one yes. thing I want to know. Oh, Several yeah. Several times. In what? Fact, in January of 2019, an unnamed man broke through security barriers and drove oh. eight miles into the base. Wait, what? Eight miles? Car with a metal Wait, what's much? How much is eight miles? Wait a second. So, eight miles. TQM, it's 12.8 uh, kilometers. 12 kilometers. Oh my god, that's long. Hand. And the military opened fire. He was shot dead at the scene. And there was oh. this time when a film crew from the BBC was arrested for trying to get in. This is BBC News. This time, a oh. vacationing family of four went off track. You get the idea. They're not messing around. Put your yes. Hands up. I'm not going to tell you again. But there's one story. Of course, let me tell you ways. And we'll disguise his identity, but he is my personal hero. The month is November. The location, Las Vegas. And yeah. the protagonist, a professional limo driver. Now, he's more than a little unhinged. He decides to start harassing and sending death threats to a lawyer, whom what? we think was going to represent his defense for this incident. If you what the fuck? If you've seen this TikTok, that's our boy doing donuts and driving backwards down the Las Vegas what? Strip. Anyway, How did he... forward three weeks. It's like Do you have his license to move? doing donuts at a car park near the airport. Then he decides to drive from the car park into the airport itself. Offense? What? No problem. He drives right through it and onto the runway. He's just driving around. You live six in Grand Apache on GTA or what? Several times before eventually parking on a ramp. At this point, he jumps out, puts on a clown Hi, mask. And storms right up to a private jet. He announces aggressively to the flight staff that there is a bomb in his limo. Quote, I have a fucking bomb. I'm going to blow this place up. Oh. His plan? To commandeer this private jet and take it to Area 51. He's really now, into ETA. This plan was. The quick response by police meant that it wasn't really working out. So he bails back to his limo, tries to make an escape, until eventually police catch up with him. At that point, he is quickly oh. lost. They take him in for questioning, and he starts telling them, as He's right, the aliens. I oh. to see the aliens. He also told them to refer to him as the Chosen One. And what a chinny boy. I have high security clearance. Yeah, I have also, to... I'm involved with the mob. And someone what? owes me millions of dollars. Later on, 
the bomb defusal crew checks out the limo and determines that it's just a fire extinguisher with a bunch of wires and duct tape and some fairy lights. Now, at some point, he gets out, presumably <laughs> on bail, and CNN reporters walk up to him and start asking him questions. No, no statements from me, he says, but you should talk to my lawyer. And then he proceeds what? to hand them the business card of the lawyer that he's been sending death threats to for what? the last three weeks. Why? Amazing. After it's amazing. That, the judge ordered that he be sent to a mental hospital for assessment. Also, they. Yeah, say, yeah, yeah. Ooh, how convenient. Oh. Okay, so people have really died trying to do this. That means we're going to have to be a little more covert. So over yeah, Area of 51 HQ, the military can see that Facebook numbers have reached 1 million. And it doesn't take a genius to calculate that even if just 1% of them show up, that's... Wait a minute. Run those numbers. This many people. In a crowd that big, there's bound to be at least a few who do something stupid. In fact, the military took it so serial that they even what? went over the nuances of Naruto running. What? A real slide, by the way. And it required a real demonstration. It was too! That slide was now, real. Some undercover operative then took a photo of that brief. And what? They uploaded it to Reddit. They intend to use our tactics against us. Right. What? Oh, no! So in Reddit! If decides to do this, things could go pretty badly for Matthew. So Matthew goes back to his mind palace. Thing, thing, thing. Uh, let's not keep saying it's a raid. Instead, let's do a music festival. This would give Matthew an alibi and throw authorities off the scent. I will oh, that's a good one. Government, let's do this. All right, Reddit, here it is. Alien Stock 2019. The official EDM party, hosted by Matthew Roberts. Set to take place in Rachel, Nevada. A town that just so happens to neighbor Area 51. It has oh. 50 total residents and what? practically no infrastructure. Perfect. Yeah, nice try, fellas, said the military. And the captains and the generals all started planning their own EDM party with the deep state. Three what groups in particular. EDM? Introducing Group E, Look. the E-Local State Police. Police have their work cut out for them because, owing to this party, they think there could be upwards of 50,000 people descending upon the little town of Rachel. Oh! Lincoln County Commissioners trying to tackle the tough task of preparing for a potential inundation of people since Sheriff Kerry Lee has less than 30 deputies. The county declares a state of emergency, and they allocate oh. an extra $250,000 worth of enforcement for the- You're Jenkin! as well as an extra 300 police officers and paramedics. That many people are going to stress the community to the point that it, it's just, it, we can't cope with it. This is some yeah, of the most exciting guys. stuff that I've ever gotten to work on. And I'm- Hold on, Mark. Group oh, Mark, D, yeah. The defense. The fact, uh-oh, oh, shit. Am I going to shoot somebody? So the FBI agents that showed up, they showed up at 10 a.m. They contacted my mom and they were like, so she texted me, she's like, FBI's here, answer your phone. So I was kind of scared at this point, but. This report from the Nevada Department of Public Safety was released last year and it features some very interesting details. For example, Wait, what? they caught a group of YouTubers trying to plant a tracker on the bus that goes to and from the base. We're gonna pull an epic prank. Highly what? illegal. What? And you may not be that surprised to hear that the military isn't actually that worried about people breaking into the base. Turns out they have automated weapons. Not bunch of muscles. Uh oh. Automated. Automate. Whatever that is. No. Instead, they think there's potential that real terrorists will, you know, do the thing or a thing. So, oh. counterterrorism was given a budget to sweep for chemical, biological, radiological, and explosive They're material. fucking crazy, huh? Yeah? So, nothing was found. And there's just one last group getting involved as well. Media. The mm, corporate press. New media. Disinformation agents in the mainstream media were getting involved. They immediately started warning people not to raid. Use of lethal force authorized. 
spouting contempt for the Stormers. What started as a oh. joke Facebook event quickly turned into a phenomenon reaching Well, it began as a joke, but now it's turned into something much more seriously. serious. Astroturfing campaigns by late night ha-ha men number one through seven. It's much more <laughs> likely they'll see them tasers. <laughs> oh! It's just a big joke. Say they're interested just keeps growing faster than their bullets let's see them aliens and they weren't afraid to give some of the biggest brainest takes you've ever heard it's not clear the 1.1 million facebook followers who yeah. said they are going to storm area 51 are real and not russian bots you're, you're fucking crazy fine what we'll make you take us seriously let the training begin you have watched train oh and speaking of that, I think it's time for my workout. And so the raid is. Oh, let's give it to Nayeva, not Narichevich. For Area 51. So let's go. Sandwich. They began pushing their body. Go on, make it happen. Pushing their will. The one is an alien. Pushing their spirits. What? Pushing their mind. Pushing their friends and family's patience. What the fuck? How many weavers are they? Told me to kick some alien butt. In September, join me. We out. Oh. Hi, Mark. And that's what fitness will be like in the metaverse. <laughs> As we zero in on the day of the raid, the count is up to two million attendees, and that puts oh. us on par with the world's largest standing army. So to coordinate all of these troops, we'll need a battle strategy. Lay it on us. From r slash memes, intel was being filtered down to the troops. Groups such as the Minecraft YouTubers, the Normans, oh. the Weaves, the Weaves, the, Moms, the Piles, the Chads, the Crackheads, Is it the five o'clock free crack giveaway? Florida, yes! The Australians, the gay Reddit mods, Okay, this thread is lost. And the North Korean defectors. They all have their role to play. So, Godzilla oh. comes in from the east while the Australians make if you're crack, racy. That allows the minion cosplayers to breach from the south. Of course, these very serious strategies would have to be disguised as memes so that they could be spread across YouTube. What? And TikTok without the threat of being. <laughs> Although, not everyone was as tech savvy. <laughs> Authorities managed to nab one of the main cartographers. And they pressured him into an interview on the television. What the fuck? It took me a total of five minutes to put this image together. It was sort of like a, a battle strategy almost. It was completely rooted in satire. It was just completely rooted in satire. And no one should raid. This is just oh. completely a joke. And completely just a joke. Mission counting sheeple complete. You can take him out. No. Oh. Okay, so remember how we're not raiding anymore and it's just a music festival? Wink, 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 wink. Well, bad news. Okay, so it sounds like you maybe are looking at changing venues. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> it's all up in the air. We're putting Maddie on the spot here. There's a lot of challenges, so. <laughs> but it's yeah. weeks away, so. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of got to, like, uh, figure it out, I guess, somewhat soon, right? Yeah, it's all kind of yeah. falling apart. See, Matthew had organized alien stock with a few other people. But his main business partner was Connie West. I didn't plan it. It planned me. Whoa! is the headliner. His name is attached to everything. And he's starting to get worried about a fire festival type situation in the desert. Be a fire fest 2.0. He wants to make sure there's plenty of water, food, food, yeah. insurance, etc, etc. Et and here, deals and communication start to break down. Eventually, oh. there's a lawsuit. And Kind of boring. Things that they were supposed to pay for, I'm stuck paying for. Who cares? We're gonna skip it. But the TLDR is that they had a disagreement, and Connie oh. said, I don't have to prove to you what I spent. You didn't sign a fucking contract with me to begin with. So guess what? I don't need to prove to you a motherfucking thing. And Matthew oh. said, Matthew then took $70,000 worth of sponsorship money and declared Alien Stock and Rachel cancelled. But then, at the same time, Bud Light walks in. What light? What? They say, hey, why not do it here? In the Vegas. It has plenty of lighting, indoor plumbing. It has everything. Matthew said yes. And then using the website for alien stock, he told everyone to not go to Rachel and instead 
to go to <laughs> Vegas. Welcome to Alien Stock Las Vegas, sponsored by Bud Light. Bud Light. Oh! Also Pornhub, but it's a long story. I don't Pornhub know. Is left to pick up the pieces. <laughs> no! She would not be discouraged so easily. She decided to press on. It's going to be a great party. No matter what, it's going to be a great party. She had to take full control of the event and Rachel, dipping into her savings and even mortgaging her home. Oh! I think this is a liability. I'm out. Yeah, it's true. Is it clear what's going on? Is worth doing a very fast recap because there's an event in Rachel that's been declared cancelled but also not cancelled. Also, I forgot to mention there's an event in Hiko that isn't cancelled but it will be on the second day. There's also that oh. film festival in Las Vegas which has the former promoter of the first one and they both share the same damn name. And yeah. None of this has anything to do with the actual raid on Area 51, which is here, which has several gated entrances, by the way, and none of them have been declared the official gathering point. Confused. Oh. Yeah, pretty much everyone was. It's a goddamn mess. Yeah. Rightfully. Put the whole thing in the two hard basket, and instead of going to one in the middle of nowhere, just went to the one in Vegas. Oh, yeah, that's good. Let's fast forward to the weekend of the raid. For better yeah, I went to see it. I remember it's some videos. To open its doors to the millennials. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh what? Has come to an abrupt halt. Don't let the aliens get you, kid. Do you believe in aliens? I don't. I don't. Run! Get out of here! Oh, you know, I want to hear about the alien liberal agenda. Oh, of course, liberal no, agenda. Oh. <laughs> But it's alien stuff. How do you see walking with that shirt up over your head like that? I don't. And the first ones are <laughs> supposed to be all these, you know, the best ones. Paranormal lawyer, PhD level field investigator. Oh. In Las Vegas. Did they change the name or is it still alien stock? I think I'm on my highest high I've ever been in my life. Look at it. And, and we are taking a look kind of the area here. You've done a, a lot of work in a very short period of time. The security's here, the medical's here, the food is here, the people are here. And most importantly, most importantly, what? Yes, fucked up, lady. Toilets are here. Oh my god, toilets! I cannot believe. Oh, yeah, it was pretty good. Oh yeah, I just, I just went through a breakup, guys. Well, it wasn't quite the event that yeah. they hoped for. But they did do a commendable job of acting retarded for the news. Yes. I, I do. Here for scientific reasons. This is like the most millennial thing that's ever happened. Yeah, sure. That's a much millennial thing. Let's forget. Hiko. Or the Heiko. No one knows how to pronounce it. This event was being hosted by George Harris of the Alien Research Center. The owner of the center is Las Vegas businessman George Harris, creator oh. of Alien Tequila. If you want to have fun, if you want to have a great look, it's a great day. Base camp was equipped with a vendor village of 10 food trucks, a gift shop, What the fuck? And three-time Grammy Award winner Paul Oakenfold for some reason for some reason yeah uh, well, who the right fuck now, are you kind of why are you here event here so that's kind of a disappointment now, Hiko base camp was expecting somewhere between 1,000 and 20,000 attendees yeah it's quite a range maybe 50 people here clapping some alien cheeks yeah but no cheeks are clapped yeah, where's at the all. cheeks None. where's Zero the cheeks. cheeks this is like the first oh. of a big thing uh -huh. but it wasn't. What the fuck? <laughs> now nah, he's fucking worse. It seems as though the majority of the attendees were actually the press. One lady believed that her parents is actually alien. So, <laughs> the first night they decided to cut their losses and cancel the whole event. You know, the of course, it's a shitty thing. Very, very, very expensive. And it just didn't make sense. Because basically all of the attendees were stolen by. Alien Stocks 2019. Yeah. Dude, we're gonna go after uh, Rachel, and then we decided that we didn't want to get stuck in the desert. Uh, as much as I like Mad Max, I don't want to live it. The Las Vegas oh, Vegas that's a good one. My Bud Light was a smash hit. The I will say that's the best quote ever. Photo ops, video games, and even a pool. No running. Who could have predicted this? You make a post at 2 a.m. with on a page that has 62 likes, and now you have thousands of people that are ready to come out to your show. It's just, it's absolutely. Oh amazing. my God, who's this guy? Back at Military HQ in An Orlando, operations yeah. are ramping up. They're adding more guards, upping the security. 
and infiltrating <laughs> the supply zone across the county. They were even infiltrating raider groups. You could be standing next to an officer and not even know it. There's a okay. undercover presence here. And they were giving stern yeah. warnings from the PR team. They posted this tweet. The last thing millennials will see if they attempt to raid Area 51 today. Sorry to disappoint you, you. you Huh? You triggered my trap card! Millennials immediately seized upon the tweet, <laughs> doing what they do best by pretending to be a fan, yeah. successfully having the tweet taken yes. down and forcing a public apology. I'm retarded. All right, there's been yes, you're retarded. Let's hurry up to the main event. Oh. The raid. Hey, are you coming? Yeah. What? Follow me as an actual location of the event. Wait, what? Okay, what do you have for me, internet historian? What's going on? They're going deep. Why is it Hogwarts? Dun 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 What? What? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> what is going on? I guess. No. What is going on? Whoa. What? So Yasu no menis now. Hi. What? What? What is that? Why are you using drones to fly? Hi, Mark. <laughs> Mark was sick about that. He's just sponsoring the event. That's fucking crazy. You do. What, what's going on? What? 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 Oh. <laughs> Everyone died in that day, and no one has ever seen from Aria 51. No, just what? No, they don't. No. This is right, it's 99%. It's alive. Yeah. No. Poor guy. No. Oh, wait. 
No, what? Eh? They forgot the forest, so what? Monster! No! They forgot monster! Wow! No! It's just the music! Doom! Alien Rim. Okay. What did they find? It's all true. Hi. Thank you for saving us. Oh. We are so grateful and horny. Oh, grateful and horny. What? And you won't be a virgin Reddit browser anymore. Oh, that's nice. It was pretty close to something like that. Yeah, it was Although pretty I close. Guess you could say that only a small group showed up to the main gates themselves. Where's the million people? Of over two million people, in total, only about two hundred actually went. But it's not about the quantity; it's the quality that counts. Nice outfit. Oh, what the fuck? People mostly behave themselves. I mean, I think it's awesome. You guys are you guys are following the laws, following directions. So, yeah. but they weren't about to leave without a consolation prize. Yeah. Quick, get some of the Area 51 soil. Top secret rock. Top secret rock. <laughs> Why? You can have it. It's from Area 51. Thank you. Okay. Also present at the raid were a few YouTubers. Oh, I came really? Here to get myself an alien as a pet. We're here to rescue. It's like oh. Halloween, but we're just annoying people. Yes. <laughs> are, are you guys gamers? Playing games? No? You, you watch anime? Yeah, so you got the rebellious youth, and then you got people <laughs> trying to lure E.T. into a cage with Reese's Pieces and stuff. That's a pretty good summary <laughs> of the crowd that you have out here this weekend. But respect to the truth. Yeah. Ones. Security. For keeping everyone. Ah, I'm just kidding. It's the guys who got underneath this fence. God bless him. <laughs> oh, no. And this cameraman, whose foot raided the base. Yeah, I got it. That's a foot I see. And this random woman who decides to just start walking. What? Police, right there. No one's stopping her. Oh my god. She's oh my god. Me. She's going home. Well. She gets charged for trespassing and receives a $1,000 fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was thinking about that. It's, it's not going to be cheap. Because everyone's moms were there to pick them up. And if they Yay. Late again, there would be big trouble. Okay, good night, everyone. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to sleep now. Oh, that's nice, to be honest. Like, that's actually really nice. It was super wholesome. Yeah. Oh. It's, like, it's not over. Oh, you. One more thing. Okay, Mac. We know you want to say your people. Area 51 would go on to inspire a plethora of other events. The storming of Loch Ness. That thing can't hide from all of us. Oh. We think we have seen it. What did it look like? It looks like a big stone. Over 27,000 like said they were going. Actual number six. Okay, uh. Storm the Bermuda Triangle, why not? It can't drown all of us. And what? potentially millions actually went. But the, you know, the evidence would be lost, so how would you know? Yeah. I am under the water. I am under the water? Or how about Storm the Vatican? <laughs> they can't molest us all. What? Interesting twist on that one, though. Someone cancelled the event. What? Ah. Yeah. Uh. But overall, everyone had a pretty good time. Isn't that what Area 51 was really built for? Yeah. Just something like that, you know what I mean? I haven't quite... Ne. I mean, it's the logical part of this. I think there's more, but. Yeah.
<laughs> I mean, you know, you get it. I, I would have gone, but I, I live in Spain and I cannot live in Spain because I'm a war criminal. I mean, what? <laughs> um, but you know, it's a funny thing to see that they actually are doing this. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. See you next video. I'm going to stream, I don't know, today or later, only day. And thank you, everyone. Have a nice day. Bye. Adiosito.